Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I sat down today to think what kind of reading I want to do. And I think we're going to incorporate ancestral messages. We'll talk about what's happening in your life right now. I still don't know how I'm going to name this reading, guys. So I guess by this time when you're watching it, you already know what that's about. But it's going to be a bit of a mysterious reading. Whenever you will need to hear this message, you'll, across, you'll come across this reading around that time. I do not have piles ready because I was thinking I'm going to include you guys in setting up all four. All right. So bear with me here. We started with cards for pile number one. We're gonna be mixing decks. Pile number one. Pile number one. Ooh, okay, that flipped. We'll take that. Pile number two. What is up, pile number two? I hope you're all doing well. Pile number two. Pile number three. What is going on with pile number three? Pile number four. What does pile number four need to know? What does pile number four need to know? Let's pull cards from your life path deck. Cards for pile number one. I've been told to pull a couple cards for each. So that's what we're going to do. One more card for pile number one. Pile number two. What do we have for pile number two? Okay, these two wanted to come out at once. Pile number three. What do we have for pile three? That card wants to come out. We'll take it. Pile number three. And what do we have for pile number four? I don't know why I put it upside down. That might be a reason. Pile number four. All right, guys. So. Let me change that up because I want all the pals to look the same. I'll keep that in mind though. Pile number one is on your left. Pile number four is on your right. Take a moment. Stop the video if you need some more time. And I'll see you in timestamps. So, pile number one. Let's start with your energy. What do we have? Sorry, I broke the holder just before uh, this reading, guys. I might need to get a new one. Let's see what is up. 
with you all. All right. So we're starting with earth pulsing. Pulse of the mother, slow down time in nature. Then we have the inner temple, devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart. Then we have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it. As well as the artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career in every other area of your life. Okay, let me tune in and see what is going on here. Right now, regardless of what's happening in your life in the 3D, I want to talk about the subconscious here, pile number one. Um, you're being asked to take a moment of stillness. Some of you might be interested in breath work, something to do with herbs or crystals or stones. I'm seeing a vision of someone picking up stones from random places around where they live and if you'll be drawn to a specific stone or herb um, in your area, in your surroundings, it's saying take time to get to know it, what it's about, what are the spiritual properties, because there will be a message in it for you. So sometimes what happens, um, even for myself, when I go to the shop, and I don't know why, I just want to get a certain plant in the um, food section, right? Example like basil or or mint, I always, I don't know the meanings by heart and I like it that way because when I get home and I truly read and dive deep into what the spiritual meaning is, what the properties are, most of the time that's exactly what I needed. So maybe your intuition, guys, works the same way where sometimes you don't register why you choose in certain things or why, what kind of decision you're making, uh, why you're making that certain decision. Why you choosing a certain path? Why are you choosing to stay home instead of going out somewhere, right? Why are you choosing to stay outdoor, to go outdoors or to stay longer? Trust. Um, pile number one, it seems like you're working on um, listening to your body. And right now, I would truly pay attention to what your body needs. If you can, and if it's not uh, super cold where you're at or maybe super hot, depending on when you're watching this video, spend a bit more time connecting to nature. Overall, greenery, um, plants is really important here for your soul. I'm hearing for your soul, not only your body. Now, for a lot of you too, what we have here with the author as well as the artist, I do want to pull more cards for that. Because these cards can be very straightforward, but I want a bit of to, to kind of dive deeper into this. Let's clarify the author. Let's clarify the author. Next, we have the Ten of Cups. As well as the Four of Cups. Okay, so what you're being asked right now is to put all your feelings on paper. Express it, express your experiences in life. It might lead you somewhere. Maybe some of you are authors watching this. Some of you maybe have a vlog or blog. It can come through as a throat chakra too for some of you I'm seeing. Um, it's saying express yourself creatively, whatever that creative endeavor would be. Um, and whatever that's in your heart space, allow it to flow in writing. It almost seems like you would experience um, it's like a therapy for you it's a healing therapy I'm seeing here especially when you feel down or when you feel like you don't want to do anything or you feel like meh you know it's saying good put it on paper or for some of you I'm hearing put it in a song in any type of artistry here in anything that it is um, that sings to your soul, that is really close to you.
that way you'll be able to see almost like you'll take one step back and you'll you'll be able to see why certain things are happening right now and you'll see a clearer structure for a lot of you that writing or creativity of some sorts will bring you a lot of happiness in the future so continue doing that especially if you're thinking about this being your career yeah and as i said that i pulled the five of coins there might be a moment when whatever your career would be, a moment where you think in that, oh, damn, you know, I should be making uh, more money or I should be, you know, taking care of my finances. The thing that's true, but um, this is not going to happen overnight. So be patient with yourself and throughout this um, journey, listen to the messages from your body. Coming from your body, is your body drawn to certain thing or do you feel like you want to push back? career-wise, okay? Hang on a second, guys. And I can't sum it up for all of you here. For some of you, this is saying you can keep it as a hobby. For others of you, you can make it your career. Whatever creative endeavor you are thinking about or you will bring back because not all of you are on the same page. We're all in different time frames. Yeah, for some of you, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna allow this to be my escape, and I'm not gonna focus on this as my main source of income, or just yet. So feel when the time is right. Yeah, seven of cups. Feel when the time is right. Tru truly listen to yourself, because otherwise you can get lost in your own headspace. You're like, I don't know. There is so much going on. What do I do? What do I take care of? It's all about centering yourself right now, guys. And the more centered you are, the more clearly you see. And keep pouring your heart into creativity, some kind of creative endeavor. This works mainly as a healing tool for you. As a healing tool for you. Yeah, the sun, what did I say? You're gonna start seeing everything so clearly. For some of you, know which message is yours because we have many people watching. For some of you, um, it's saying there needs to be forgiveness. And we're talking about a certain past event. If you still feel like you're holding on to something, you haven't released it properly, you want peace with that situation, a person, event of some sort, it's time to write it down or to express yourself creatively and that's gonna be a healing, um, it's almost like a therapy for you. And then I'm hearing the sun will shine brighter. What a deep message, pile number one. What a deep message. Um, I hope that this message find those who needed to hear that. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, tribe, whoever has chosen pile number two, let's see what we have for you guys here. So we started with perspective. None of this matters zoom out common ground okay that makes sense together we have mirror who or what is triggering you yeah so these two go hand in hand right so whenever you feel like there is some kind of a trigger or someone annoys you or you're super pissed off or you're like oh it makes me go nuts um it's saying zoom out and then come back so maybe you're feeling annoyed about someone or something a situation it's saying give it a day uh, give it a day um, and reply then. For others of you, if you are confused, confused in your own headspace, it's saying, okay, um, no, acknowledge that it's there, but don't rush when making decisions while you're being emotional. Overall, there's like a hint for you here, guys, what I'm seeing. Your perspective will change massively in the future regarding a situation or person. Expect that, they're saying, expect that. We have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. It can be throat chakra for some of you too. 
I'm picking up here and we have practice. Polish your skills by practicing regularly. Let's use the Game of Thrones tarot and let's see. Let's dive deeper into this. There might have been messages for you guys, pile number two and pile number one as well. Especially when connected to writing. Let's see, we have the Knight of Cups. I keep hearing you guys, um, be relatable, be real, be true. I don't know who, for who this message is, uh, but be relatable. People really like someone who is real, someone who is not overly polished, someone who also goes for certain things. And uh, I don't know if that's asking you to be like that. If this message is asking you to be like that in your work, relationship, your projects, whatever it is, um, feel where it's needed. And also, remember to pick your own messages. It's just going to sit right with you because we have a lot of people watching. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. The world. Um, I keep hearing ancestors, ancestors. Uh, your ancestors or your guides, whichever you feel closer to, they're asking you to be seen or to attach the world with your thoughts, your words, what you have to put out there. Um, inspiring the world, healing or teaching the world I'm hearing, um, you have to be you have to be seen. So maybe this is almost like advice for you guys. Reach out to as many people as you can. And what needs to be done in order to get there, right? For some of you, it's going to be marketing. For some of you, it's going to be advertising yourself, right? It's um, it's going to be, um, I'm seeing almost like a puzzle being put together. Uh, you may need different um to bring out your different personality traits or abilities or talents here. Keep going. Overall message for pile number two is to keep going. And whenever you feel like you're stuck or something annoys you, that's when it's time to take a step back and look at the situation from 360. You're growing bigger and bolder, so don't rush this. Six of swords, yeah. Um, you guys, it feels like for a lot of you, this is a message for the future, but it can be a message for your current situation. Uh, dive deep into practice. Keep learning. Keep expanding. Because it's going to take you places with that Six of Swords, okay? For some of you, that's something that you're already thinking of, maybe signing some kind of documents or maybe bought a book or signed up to a course, whatever that would be. Maybe even research online. Keep practicing your skills, guys. Keep practicing your skills. Um, you may need patience. I'm, I'm getting it for pile number two, right? But once you get over those bumps, you know, your, <laughs> this is saying your patience will be tested. But this is going to actually help you out in the long run. How to deal with such situations when you feel like you're out of breath, when you feel like you, you don't have any more patience, how do you deal with that? It's really important. It's, uh, for pile number two, it's all about how you react to certain situations. It's not what's happening in a certain situation, but almost like I'm seeing your ancestors, your guys, looking at how you react, what you're being thrown at. Um, it's very deep. It's almost like um, it reminds me of a test, you know, of, uh, in the military when you have to go through uh, very different experiences. Your body is not used to certain things, 
right? You're, you're being tested uh, physically and mentally, and that's what kind of energy I'm seeing here. But at the end of this, you have a really big reward that's coming your way. And it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. I'm hearing we gotta make you tough at first before we give you that. Okay, cards on the floor. Let me get them. Okay, actually one, I thought there were a couple. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, it seems like maybe sometimes you guys tend to get stuck in your own head and you don't trust that certain things are happening not um, to you, but for you. You're like, you know what, when it happens, I get really pissed off or I have a short temper. <laughs> I know, I know. But see right next to it, we have the Wheel of Fortune. That's exactly what I've been talking about. So this Eight of Swords actually in this Game of Thrones tarot is quite different from um, the regular. And I like it. I like it much more than any other deck, probably. Yeah. This guy, I don't see any frustration here. This guy is sitting still, even though there are a lot of swords around him. And it seems like he's taking a chill pill. He's like, let me just sit with my thoughts. Let me organize those damn swords before I move on. So it's a lot to do with your mental, uh, mental, uh, mental state here, guys. Okay, what can you expect in the future, pile number two? What can you expect in the future? We have the king of coins. Yes, exactly. This is either you sitting in a very comfortable, financial sta financially stable position. Um, you're really happy where you're at in life. Or this can be someone who will be influential along the way. Okay, then we have the queen of swords as well as the justice in the middle. Maybe you are, you are um, signing some kind of documents in the future or trying to make a decision that is true to you. You're being fair for yourself. And um, it does seem like it's a completely different story here though. If you are dealing with someone right now, uh, but that's quite, it has a connection to formalities of some sorts, what you need to know here that whatever happens, however the situation plays out to be, it's going to be fair for both sides. That might be a message only for one of you watching this. Check on your neck as well as your as your belly okay these are two parts that i'm being shown um do you hold tension in your um in your abs or do you hold tension in your shoulders or back um when it comes to back it's, it's giving me like a slight pain um when it comes to the future endeavors guys what you're being asked is not to um not to miss out on certain collaboration opportunities. Get all information out from people if you're gonna be offered anything, right? Collab can be about anything, really. Um, get all information, what's that about? Take interest in it. Um, do not, don't, it's almost like don't say no before getting to know the whole picture, okay? And for pile number two, I'm picking up so many different stories, so please choose what's right for you. For you guys, I wanna pull a couple of cards from the Animal Tarot. What do they need to know? We have Eight of Swords twice. In this deck, it says it's easy, and your cards are flying all over the place here. Um, as well the magician landed on the floor so this eight of winter says it's so easy to convince yourself that you are trapped when you really aren't 
Trust that God or universe will lift you to new heights and give you greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. No one's holding you back. This is saying, okay, whoever needs to hear that, no one's holding you back. There's always a solution to any problem. But sometimes we need to um, make extra effort. And because we know that, we tend to think that we're stuck, right? The magician says there is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. A boost. And we have the renewal card. It says it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you are on path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come. And we talked about forgiveness. It Was it in your pile or in other pile? I don't know, but it seems like you guys uh, might need to look at that too. And maybe that's why I referred to pile number one as well. There might be a couple of messages there for you guys. Only if you feel like you want to watch it. Not pushing you here. But try. Love you as always. Thank you for coming back. And I'll catch you soon. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three, let's see what we have for you. Okay, so we're starting with cracked open, rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. I like that card quite a lot. Then we have dance with life, do something to change your energy. Then we have teaching, you inspiring people to learn. And we have builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Okay, let me put these right here. And let me tune in a bit. What you need to know right now, pile number three, if things don't make sense at all for some of you, what you need to look at here is that whatever is happening externally, you need to know that you highly, highly protected. You see that? Almost like a veil, energetic shield across her, thro uh, sorry, throat chakra, I wanted to say. Maybe for some of you that's important. Uh, crown chakra. It's almost like there is that invisible mist energy that's protecting you. This is not the most comfortable place to be in. You're like, you feel like you split into two parts. You feel like you don't know what's happening. You're like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on here, right? It can be energetically, mentally for some of you. You might feel like you're a bit floaty. You might um, take a moment to make sense of certain events in your life. Or you might be getting quite a lot of flashbacks. It might feel a bit, you know, wowsy. And it's saying, it's fine. Surrender to the alchemy of life. Some of you might even feel like you're at the rock bottom right now or you haven't been in a certain situation in this situation for a really long time. So please choose your story here. But what you need to know is that soon enough you will be dancing with life. But that needs a bit of your effort. Your moon is already telling you exactly what you need to do. Listen where your body is being pulled towards to especially when making decisions, or if you feel like you're just watching a movie and you feel a bit off and you still don't feel relaxed, maybe your body is asking you to move around a bit. It's really important for pile number three uh, to maybe um, get, get um, keep hearing get moving. Um, any kind of physical activity would be highly beneficial for you right now. And maybe you have been receiving messages about it for a while now. See, through moving your body, even um, as simple, I want to call it ritual, as playing some music and dancing with it, it gets you out of your head. And it also connects you with your body, your mind with your body. So it's quite a, th a therapeutic um, way of shaking things off. And I'm pretty sure some of you thought about Taylor Swift song, Shake It Off Now. <laughs> or maybe I'm the only one, I don't know. But yeah, it's almost like I want to shake my hands, you know, and I want to get rid of some type of energy that's not, um, that doesn't sit right with me anymore. Because I know that I'm going through transition. It might not make sense to me right now what it is exactly, where it's leading me. But I know that something has expired. 
So a new you will be built from this. Okay. Okay, let's get more clarity here. Oh, thank you. We have two number fives. Yeah, definitely. Massive, massive change. It might not make you, make you feel comfortable, you know, when you're in this state. But it's very necessary. Uh, what you're being asked right now is to, we have the devil in the middle. Mm. The way I'm seeing this teaching card, for some of you, yes, you're being asked to teach or to learn yourself. Um, especially when it comes to those who are not as experienced or maybe younger people around you. For others, you're being asked to look at your childhood right now. And maybe some of you are getting flashbacks from your childhood because it seems like a lot of you guys are breaking some kind of a cycle. And it's been some time. It's, um, it was almost like slowly, slowly getting ready for you to see it. But before the time wasn't right. And now it's that time. So maybe you wanna break certain cycles when it comes to giving too much or when it comes to Maybe you want to switch things up when it comes to work. If you thought that something is not working out for you for X amount of time and you're like, I'm quite conflicted about that, you know? I feel like a change is needed. I don't know exactly what kind of change, but let me dive into this. This is saying dive into it. See what you are being released from. And I'm sensing um, a renewal for you guys here. Let's clarify that devil. We have the Ace of Cups reversed. Yeah, something is about to approach you in the future. Some kind of a new endeavor here. But before this happens, it's saying that's why it came out reversed and I felt it reversed. Uh, before it happens, we are firstly breaking chains right now. Whatever those chains would represent in your life. Uh, mental state, maybe certain beliefs, maybe certain patterns you had, or overall, maybe you didn't feel like you were in a good place. Maybe you didn't, ha didn't feel blissful for a while now. And it's saying, expect big changes. It feels like a night and day for me here. It's been brewing, I'm hearing. It's been brewing. Yeah, it's been brewing. The hangman is here. Okay, and this is literally what's happening with the cracked open. You had to get stripped naked here, right? This hangman is not the most pleasurable card to look at. In order for us to change things up, but like on a big, big scale for you here. These two people, it's almost like they, um, they wanna surrender to, new, to their new identities almost. This is so difficult to explain the feelings that I'm getting, guys, I can't. But I hope I'm making sense. Okay, let's talk about the Builder card. Let's talk about the Builder card. Okay, so you guys, it seems like you either went through some kind of difficulty here or for some of you, you, you will have to endure some kind of difficulty so that you can restructure your life better. And this guy is quite masculine here in this card. And to create something more that is more stable for yourself. That gives you satisfaction. Third five. We have five, five, five. Um, you might be drawn to looking into your past lives. Maybe you're clearing some stuff. Yeah, nine of swords. See? 
um, Five of Swords, Nine of Swords, this is intense energy here. It's almost like you guys are fighting with yourself in your own headspace or maybe with other people too. You know, you're gonna change the way you talk to yourself or others or both. And it's like you're coming out of your shell. For a lot of you, that might be an advice. If you don't feel like you're going through this just yet or expect it in the future. Yeah, be patient with yourself through that moment. Through that period of time when things are um, a bit wobbly, I'm hearing. Because what you're planting right now is quite precious. It's not going to happen overnight. You're going to have to be patient with yourself. But it's something quite, I want to say, almost like stiff. You know, strong, stiff and unshakable. What can Pile 3 expect in the future? Continue the story with the set of seven of coins, please. Continue the story with seven of coins. Yeah, look, bang, we have the ten of cups now. Bliss that you have been missing. Together with the dance of light, this is a beautiful energy. You feel carefree. You feel like you want to explore maybe again. Um, you are connected to your inner child and it seems like there's a lot of happiness waiting for you. But you got to be patient and don't push yourself. Don't blame yourself throughout the moment when things will not make sense. Or when you'll be making certain decisions in your life and it won't be very comfortable. Okay, the four of spirit. You see what I mean? The four of wands and the eight of cups came reverse and I felt it. Um, you guys, it seems like you might be even improving your home environment in the future or there is certain celebration waiting for you. But overall, what you need to know is that you're gonna... I feel like for some of you, this is quite an emotional read. Uh, not for all, but someone has been waiting for themselves to find bliss and happiness again. Um, and maybe to feel like they used to feel in the childhood and they're bringing it back. But before this comes back, there will be a moment of uncertainty. Um, so take it easy with yourself when that will happen. I want to say for some of you, the Eight of Cups is right next to the Five of Swords. I pay attention to how those lay on the table. Um, some of you might be uh, deciding to maybe um, communicate with certain people less or you will be almost like um, reviewing your relationships with people in your circle. What do I want to say? Did I keep something um, hidden? Did I, didn't I want to cause some kind of conflict and I just decided to walk away? Or what I'm going to do in the future? How do I want to be? Do I want to speak my truth? Do I want to be authentic, even if it's going to come to... Yeah, I'm almost like seeing you guys are, are going to seek for 100% authenticity here. And that might lead you to some kind of conflict with um, one person maybe around you because you will not hold back. You're like, what you see is what you get. I'm sorry. I'm so happy because I, I am my own self. My, this is my true self. So let them go gracefully, this is saying. There is no need for drama from both sides. Okay? Because, again, you're energetically upgrading and there's going to be not e even... I feel like for you guys, there might be a couple of energetic upgrades, as I like to call them, in the next half year. It's like I'm seeing you stripping a lot of layers that you've built over time. And um, you know the weirdest visions that I get? I'm just going to share it with you. I'm seeing an onion being peeled. And once you peel all layers, the middle is golden. And that's the representation of you here. And when you start stripping the layers, sometimes you might feel like that. Maybe you're doing it with someone's help. Maybe there is some kind of a therapist, um, a coach, I want to say for some of you, or a counselor, or a spiritual person who's helping you do that. If you felt intuitively that you wanted to dive deep into 
the core issues into subconscious um, and find peace and find answers in certain situations in your life, this is your confirmation, go for it. Okay, you're gonna find a lot of truths. You're going to find um, a lot of almost like, you know, those realizations uh, in my vision are golden. So I hope this made sense. This was quite deep, pile number three. And tribe, love you as always. Thank you for coming back. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pile number four people. So let's see what we got for you here. We have Empathic Star Seeds, Energetic Sovereignty, Absorbing What's Not Yours, as well as Trust Your Path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Nice. This reminds me of Greece. Uh, sorry, Turkey. Maybe for some of you, you want to go to Greece or you have roots there. So those two might not make sense to all of you, locations, and they don't have to. That might be specific messages for some of you. Then we have nutrition as well as justice. Let me tune in. Hmm. What you need to know I'm hearing that your intuition doesn't have to make sense to other people. What your intuition tells you doesn't always have to make sense to other people. It's almost like what you feel. If you feel like that's correct, that's your path. This is probably your path or this is a right decision for you. See, you're being guided here towards a specific location, job, relationship, whatever that would be for you now, guys. Um, trust where you're going, even if you don't see the end goal just yet. But what you're being asked to do right now for yourself is to um, protect your energy a bit more, um, grow a thicker skin when it comes to your energy field, because sometimes you take on too much and it drains you as heck. So find your own routines, find your own rituals, how you want to do that. What I found myself, sometimes people ask me that, you know, um, I work with spirits, uh, mediumship, right? And I also do tarot, I talk to people, I see visions, I kind of tune into their energy and see what um, they're being told, communicate with our guides, so there's a lot going on. So people ask me, hey, how do you clear your energy? The thing is, what I've noticed over time, the more I grew spiritually, the less tricks um, I saw in my surroundings. And I call tricks because this is um, either, you know, a spirit that um, needs my attention or some kind of, you know, attachment that is felt really intensely and things like that. So the more you grow as a person, the more you grow spiritually, right? The more you understand what your life is about. You communicate with yourself. You're very open, you know, um, I want to stay honest with yourself as well as honoring, honoring your intuition, the stronger you're going to become. For some of you, you need to learn this is saying how to be empathic, but how not to take over the energy from others, especially if you're doing, if you're doing spiritual work. Um, and I feel like for some of you have been doing it for a while now, uh, but maybe you're gonna become interested in that a bit more in near future or something will trigger you so that you wanna dive into that. You know, I wanna know how can I protect myself? How not to take, you know, um, a lot of, even I wanna say information and hold it, hold on to it. Um, when you finish the session, it's done right there, right, right then, right? So sometimes people are powerful enough um, doing it by their mind only some other people have to use maybe um i don't know some type of ritual for themselves some people use um you know salt um after the session other people go and wash their hands uh depending what kind of work you do and what works for you because we're all different here but overall the message here for you is to focus on what it is that you feel comfortable with and if someone's energy doesn't sit right with you 
just be open enough to say that. Um, it's very important how you express yourself. Being honest, uh, but not hurt someone. So it's all a power of, um, of your throat chakra here. If you feel like, if you are a tarot reader, if you feel like you don't wanna do, or a healer, um, doesn't matter, shaman, right? Whatever you do, guys. If you feel like you don't wanna, wanna read certain person, um, just say to them, you know, I feel like um, I won't be able to give you a quality reading, or I won't be able to give you a, um, a reading that you might be expecting. However you wanna say that. But it's almost like for, for a lot of you guys, you're being asked to just um, be assertive and know how, how to communicate with people when you feel like um, it's a bit much for you. For others, it's um, if you're working in a regular job and you come back home super drained, this is saying we got to work on that, right? You can be mentally tired, but if you feel energetically drained every single time you come back home that you don't even want to speak to anyone, um, you, you need to take some time for yourself, this is saying we got to take a look at that. Okay, let's not take over that much. Then, for some people, what I'm being shown here, you're entering a new phase in your life. And it's going to be different, so be prepared. It's more colorful, I'm hearing. The colors are more vibrant. We need to adjust your eyes to that, okay? So uh, there are still a couple of steps uh, in order to get there. But almost like keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's see. So obviously from nutrition card for a lot of you, you're being asked to take a look at your diet or what you digest, what you put in your body, right? Doesn't matter. Would it be food? Would it be drugs? Would it be alcohol? Would it be a, um, smoke? Um, but for a lot of you, this is more so like, feel what needs to be taken care of first. It's not to say that you have to become the Saint Mary here, you know, and not do anything at all. I'm not, I'm not that person myself. I believe in balance, especially when you tell someone, don't do this when they've been doing it for such a long time, if they're gonna do it only for you, they're probably gonna fail in the first week, right? So people have to, they need to um, feel that it's the right time for themselves, even when it comes to diet and things like that, right? For others of you, for if you are a chef, expect the next, or if, if you bake, whatever it is that that's to do with food or maybe even nutrition, uh, expect your career, the star is here, yes, expect your career, it seems like to be better than maybe you imagine it to be, it's, uh, it's like someone doesn't trust themselves, they need to believe that you can do this, same goes for um, improving your diet or whatever you put in your body, you can do this, okay, temperance, you're gonna need some time to balance yourself, right, to get ready for that, but the goal is achievable here. It's very achievable. Temperance, and we have the justice card. I'm looking at the scales, right? It's saying we, uh, where the focus lies right now is in balance, okay? Is in balance. We have the seven of cups. Um, there is a message for a couple of you here. If you're waiting for some kind of documents or formalities or you're dealing with that right now and it's on your mind, you're going to sort it out quicker than you think. Or if you're wait, waiting for a message um, or someone to get back to you, it's coming. It's coming pretty soon, okay? Um, it's going to clear any doubts that you have. I'm seeing one more message here for some of you guys. It's saying we want to thank you and we as spirits, we want to thank you for the work that you do in this world.
because what you do in life regardless of what kind of career path you're on um, it's very beneficial some of you might not see it that way but you know sometimes when um, if you live I'm seeing a vision someone who lives in a block of flats and um, every morning when they go to work they meet a cleaner and she makes their day every single time because she has such a good energy such a bright smile um, and um, that's why I said regardless of the work that you do because sometimes people they don't uh, really realize what kind of impact they have on other people by being around them So I'd say expect a good pat on the back or a good feedback when it comes to work. Would it be in the future, in your future career, because it seems like I keep hearing a project, so some of you maybe haven't started a certain project, or would it be in your current career, guys? Overall, you have to trust the path that you're on right now. And I know it might be difficult if you're in the Seven of Cups situation where things are so unclear. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to choose. Um, choose temperance, the same. Choose um, balance. And balance can be achieved. It, you can't be balanced all the time. Let's be real, right? Unless you're a monk meditating on top of a mountain. Um, then it's it's most of your time but here what you're being asked in order to see to see clearly in order to know um, what decision to make or what's happening around you we want you to focus on your body would it be I'm hearing yoga for some of you too um, yoga exercise or what you digest that's gonna balance your energy better. If you feel drained, that goes really well together, empathic star seed as well as nutrition. If you feel drained after work, especially I'm talking about spiritual work, have a good plate of food. And take a moment to relax. So you guys, what, what you're focused on here is, and what you're being asked to think of, is giving your body more attention and give yourself a bit more rest. Okay? What's coming in the future? What do you need to know? We have the devil. What's coming in the future? What do you need to know? We have the ten of cups. Let's clarify the devil. I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, some of you are dealing with uh, some kind of maybe addiction, whatever that addiction would be, you know. Um, maybe addiction to certain relationship patterns, addiction to food, addiction to drugs, addiction to alcohol. Um, and it seems like you... The Devil and the Ten of Cups next to it, it's actually a really good um, combination here, especially when we started talking about addiction that's showing here, right? So you're able to cope with it, you know what, you're, what you... Sorry guys, I thought I heard something. I don't know where that was. But you know what you need to get out of it? Maybe listen to the sounds around you. Because I heard something I didn't know what it was. You're being whis whispered things in your ear here. Trust it. And the way that I'm looking at the Page of Cups here, I'm looking at that fish. And I'm getting a surprise factor here. So some of you will surprise yourself how this will all play out. Would it be your path where you're going to go? 
what you're gonna do or how you're gonna cope with certain things. Yeah, you're gonna be surprised the moon, you don't see it just yet. It's quite hidden for you, but trust your gut. Trust your gut overall. I hope this made sense, pile number four. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.